Hello, Psych2Goers. We just want to take the time to thank you for all your kind support. We're a team of dedicated, passionate, and hardworking individuals who come together every day with one goal in mind. We want to make psychology come alive for you. We're self-funded and recently launched our Patreon. If you enjoy the work we do and find it meaningful, please stick around until the end of the video for information on how to get more involved with us and all the cool rewards you can get from us. We hope you enjoy this video. The world is becoming more demanding and fast-paced every day. As a result, it's easy to feel burnt out and unmotivated. Just when you think you're ready to pick yourself up again and start over, something happens along the way that can flip you like a switch. It's not too long until you find yourself sinking. It feels heavy, but it feels familiar. You may find yourself scared of fading and wanting to disappear again. So how do you keep going? Here are five ways to stay motivated once you're ready to do something. 1. Realize what you can control and allow the rest that you can't to just be. It's powerful when you recognize that you're in control of how your life unfolds. This prevents you from living passively. We all feel lost at some point in our lives, and that's okay. But when you allow your uncertainty to do the steering, you can easily fall into the trap of going through everyday motions just because. It's easy to give ourselves less credit than what we deserve because it means taking less responsibility for our lives. Instead of shutting yourself away from taking control, embrace it, but also learn to let go of what cannot be controlled. Balance is key. Have people in your life who believe in your potential. Although it may be tempting to want to prove your non-believers wrong, you may be putting yourself at an emotional risk. If you're going to be motivated, be motivated by healthy reasons. Do something because you care about it. Or, if you're feeling dejected, do something because you want to care about it again. Connect with positive people and others with similar goals. Together, we can build a support system for one another when the going gets tough. Everyone falls down at some point. What matters is finding others who can lend a hand to help you get back up and try again. 3. Adapt a different perspective towards your obstacles. Don't be afraid of your struggles or challenges. Instead, build your resilience and focus on the benefits of growing from the mistakes you make. Setbacks can teach you the art of patience. It's easy to get discouraged when you experience bad days or feel overwhelmed when things get hectic. Life is full of surprises, including the bad ones, so expect the unexpected, but don't allow the temporary negativity to cause you prolonged suffering. Instead, take a step back and tell yourself that the storm will pass. 4. Break down your big goals into smaller ones. It can be daunting when you have to execute big tasks. Rather than diving in blindly, it's more helpful to first visualize what you want to accomplish. You can do this by drawing a map, creating an outline, or coming up with a list. When you break down a big task into multiple small ones, it makes it much more approachable and much more doable. Since there's only 24 hours in a day and only so much energy you carry before you feel burnt out and need to recharge, you have to recognize the limitations you possess and make the best out of your time and resources. This will help you learn how to prioritize accordingly. 5. Don't forget to live for yourself and have fun in between. If all you're doing is work and no fun, then you're putting your mental and physical health at risk. Don't forget to enjoy life for what it is. Although it's great to find something you're passionate about, leave room for yourself to grow with your friends, your love life, and your family. Break familiar cycles of work and routine and replace them with laughter or moments of joy when you try something new. Give yourself time to be who you are without your work defining you. It doesn't make you any less passionate. You just make room for valuable experiences that remind you why you were motivated in the first place. How do you stay motivated when the going gets tough? Share your thoughts down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content from Psych2Go and check out our Patreon. We started it because we want to grow into a bigger platform that reaches more people who are in need of help. With your contribution, we can receive our PSI pendant, t-shirt, issues of our magazine, and many more membership benefits. Your funding will help us produce quality script writing, voiceovers, and animation that makes our content both entertaining and educational. We want to make sure our community members get the best and only the best. Thanks for watching!
Hey everybody, I just want to give a personal thank you video for you guys for always supporting Psych2Go and making this all possible for us. Our vision is to make psychology as accessible as possible so that it promotes self-awareness and it helps you guys grow. However, we want to make more content for you guys and would love your support in buying one of these bracelets from our partner, Introvert Palace. Check out the bracelet, it's pretty cool and it even includes Pluto. The link to purchase will all be in the description below and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!